Welcome back to session 27 of the Little Wolf Knits podcast. My name is Brianna and I am the dyer, designer, and human behind the Little Wolf Knits coming to you from a snowy, yet again, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania on January 18th. Um, it is a little bit later in the week than I have recorded in the past, but we're still coming to you just one week after last session and my goal is to edit this and get it up if not today tomorrow so we can keep that record going and i feel really excited about that if you are returning i hope you're just as proud as i am that we've been able to keep this going on um and if you're new welcome go check out some of my other podcasts that i've recorded not just the past few weeks but in the past few years on and off as well as vlogmas from 2023 um, all of my design vlogs. There's lots of stuff on my channel. Welcome. We're excited to have you here and I'm excited to chat with y'all today because it's been a busy day and a busy week and I feel like, I don't know, just like hanging out and talking to y'all feels a little bit like hanging out, catching up with a friend, and just taking a minute to relax from everything else that I will have to do once I hit the stop button here. But I will try not to hold you all hostage for too long today just so I can avoid my work because I don't have that much to talk about. That's not true. I have, a, I have an okay amount of things to talk about. I don't have an FO, which feels like it's been a really long time since that happened. So we'll see how long this takes today. Before we get started and jump into projects, let's talk a little bit about admin. <laughs> I didn't know if we should start with admin or what I'm wearing, but I'll let, I'll let y'all marvel a little bit longer. Ooh, look at that. Mm -mm. Um, oh, I should put my chapstick in here. Okay. Anyway, admin, uh, not too much going on admin wise. The cozy peaks and cheeks mal is still going on. I'm not going to share all the details because I've been talking about it for the last few sessions. But it is still going on. We are thriving. I think the first prize is actually going to be chosen maybe tomorrow. So super excited. Make sure you are entering using the hashtag Cozy Peaks and Cheeks Mal 2024. And there are going to be a lot more opportunities for you to get your prizes entered because there are lots of new patterns coming between now and March. 31st, which is when this mail ends. I also feel like I looked at the video finally and I feel like we're a little crooked and I want to fix it, but now, ah! okay. You know what? Nope. Oh no, I made it worse. Okay. I think I made it worse. I don't know. I don't know if I made it worse or better, but here, oh my gosh, now it's cutting off the top of my head. Brianna, what are you doing? Okay. There we are, we're done. I'm not touching it anymore. That is what's going on with Cozy Peaks and Cheeks Mal. Super exciting, lots more opportunities to enter. Um, I'm just gonna lump shop things in here because I have either forgotten to talk about them for the last few weeks or I just don't have that much. <laughs> so sorry that will be the biggest sale certainly of the year and possibly the largest amount off that I ever do I might do a sale for my birthday which is February 6th um, if you'd be interested in that let me know let me know what you like to see is it free shipping percentage off your order maybe like a free sock blank with a certain amount purchase I don't know let me know I'm open to ideas because there will also be some other fun things coming in February for my birthday. Ah, okay, so that's happening at some point in the near future, February 6th. So what's that, like two weeks away? Two and a half weeks away? But for now, this is going to be your last call. The last time this podcast is going to talk about yarns that are available for January clubs. They will be in the dye pans by the time next week's podcast goes up. So if you want to grab them grab them now so we have our first whoa look at the lighting 
We have our first option, which is from the Open Road Club. This is Antelope Canyon. I'm obsessed with this. It's going to be a dress. Spoiler alert. Um, but I'm, I'm using it and I'm so excited. It's, I want to cast it on today, but I don't need to because it's going to be maybe a May. May or June situation, but look at the layers of color in that. So excited. So Antelope Canyon, last call, and then a last call on our Gilmore Girls Club for January. Raincoats and recipes. And look again at the lighting. Wow, this is so good. Oh, it matches my sweatshirt. Ooh, nice like pants in this color and then a top in this color would be pretty. Okay, raincoats and recipes. Gilmore Girls, January Club, last call. Antelope Canyon, last call. Okay, those are the yarn things happening in the shop. Those are my admin things. So let's talk about what I'm wearing. Okay, I am wearing something. Sorry. Very exciting because the pattern is not even out yet, but we are under 24 hours, people, until this pattern is released and I cannot wait. Oh, are you gonna be able to see it? I am wearing, uh, uh, oh, this is dangerous. I am wearing my Jamie Joggers, which is a knit jogger pattern that has functional pockets, top pockets and the side patch pockets. They're all, added after the fact so you can mix and match do what you want but i just wanted to show you top pocket functional side pocket functional and i don't know i'm just so in love with them and if you are not a knitter but you're a crocheter and you have found me through my yarn or something else other than my designs my friend courtney who is i love tinderbox is a crochet designer who did this amazing collaboration with me. She had never done graded bottoms before and she and I paired up and she came out with a crochet version. I came out with a knit version and I am so excited. This is my olive juice colorway on Sunfish. It's really cool layers of like purples and greens and looks like a jar of olives. Um, which is really fun. And Courtney has like a more tonal, true olive green that is called Tapenade. And she used my Sunfish base. Also, they're both, actually, I need to check that. Um, I won't do it right now. But they will both be available in the shop by the time this goes live, if they're not already. So you can check out Yardage. She listed her Yardage on Instagram yesterday. And my Ravelry page is up, so you can check out Calculate Yardage and then place your orders and I will be dying up yarn next week. And I'm just so, so excited for everyone to make a pair of these because they're just so cozy and so amazing. So super, super excited. If you are planning to cast on a pair, please tag me. Please let me know what your yarn you're planning to use, the look that you're going for, if you're gonna do all the pockets. Um, yeah, if there's anything, tag me, cause I'm so excited. If you have questions, so it is fully size inclusive, I think it goes from a 20, four waist, up to like a 70 inch waist, 68 inch waist. Um, and then it's graded for your hips and thighs. If you have questions about sizing, please don't hesitate to send me an email at thelittlewolfknits at gmail.com and I would love to help you get started because getting fit on bottoms is very important and I am dedicated to helping people get that fit they want. Okay, so that's what I'm wearing, super excited. I don't really have an FO section, but I do have a hoe. A half object. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, this will lead us into our whip sec sec section. And I don't believe 
When did I record this? No, I was on the heel last time. So you have not seen these. So these are my um, Cozy Knitter 24 stripe socks. The second pair that I'm making to use up the rest of my scraps. And I made these toe up. I think you saw them up to the heel last time that I did in like one day, pretty much at the Giants game. I added the heel and then in the last week, I knitted up to here and then I think I was in a movie and I knitted the leg and then I finished the leg and the cuff on another day. I should get back into the habit of using two progress keepers per project so I can mark where I've shown you last. So I think I got out of that habit during Vlogmas. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the whip, the other object. That's not yet done in this pair. But yes, super excited. Bear yarn. Um, I did these on Magic Loop US 1 2.25 millimeter Chiagu red lace. These are 64 stitches. And I use my super simple toe up sock pattern. I actually have made some adjustments to the heel on that pattern. So I should go back. I should go back and see, I think it was an accident that I started doing it differently, um, but I want to test and see which is a better fit and then go back and make sure the pattern is whichever option I'm going to end up going with. It's basically a deeper heel or a less deep heel and which I think fits better. I have a high arch. Michael has a high arch, my sister has a high arch, unless no one in our lives have high arches and heel flap and gusset are just the only thing that fit us. But super simple toe up socks is my pattern that I use and I'm so excited to have one sock done and one sock coming soon. Um, so I guess that takes us into whips. Alrighty, shocker, I think you all know what this next one is going to be, but I will talk about it nonetheless. So this is in my bag for my friend Christina, the one with the advent, because it is still advent yarn. It still has my frosted garland tuft woolen bar in here, and I'm not ready to let that go yet. I think after these socks are done, I will be ready to let that go. I'm still embracing winter and all of my wintry things, but I'm I'm ready to move on from Christmas. And it's funny, I keep looking around the house. There are some things, so like Garland, I've decided is winter and it's gonna stay there. Our lights stay up. There are just some Christmas things that we missed putting away in our like cleanup process. Um, so I'm just gonna gather those and I think I'm ready for them to be done. done. I finished watching Vlogmas. Um, all my vlogmases that I had been watching in December and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take a little break. Maybe at another point in the winter, I will go back and watch some of the ones that I didn't get a chance to watch in December, like Molly of a Homespun House, Christina, Chelsea Yarns. But right now, I'm feeling ready to move on. Anyway, back to the project at hand. I am just finishing up, again, same yarn, um, toe up. I'm just finishing up the gusset and getting ready to work on the heel. We are going to a show tonight, a comedy show, and I would love to honestly, okay, I feel like turning the heel is the part that I need to count and pay attention to. Once I'm building up the heel and I'm just working the slip stitch heel flap, I don't really need to count right so i would like to at least get through the heel turn and be starting the heel flap um by tonight which is definitely doable if i were just to focus on this i feel like i could probably get through the entirety of the heel and then just crank out the leg during the show um this is all of the yarn that i have left look how pretty it is um Wow, the light in here is so good right now. It's the snow, it's so reflective outside, it's wonderful. 
But that is the plan. And I would love to be done with this leg today and then finish up the cuff tomorrow or this weekend and tuck these away. Oh no. Oh no. What? I just pulled off the stitch marker. Please hold. That's fuzz. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to find it later. I'm gonna have to find it later. Oh, there it is. I found it now. My little wolfie stitch marker. I'm gonna keep it off of those because I don't wanna lose it. I'm gonna put it onto another project I have. Um. Yeah, okay, that's whip number one. Whip number two, and my only other knitting whip at this point in time I, so I'm laughing because um, I had a Wolfpack Zoom night this week and people were like, is that the project you were just showing in your podcast that was on the sleeves? And it, it was, it is. And I real, people were like, oh my gosh, you've knit so much of that so quickly, which I know is true. And there's also a little part of me that's like, man, I really wanted to get this done. But I did get to the point that I said I would, although I realize I have had a few extra days to do so. Um, but I think I got to the point I said I would on Monday. So this is, let me show you everything in my Snickle and B, Snickle and Mr. B bag. This is my Radvent cardigan by Amba O'Brien in my 2022 Advent solstice countdown solstice advent from cozy posy yarn co not all of the things i said last time and i have made eye contact with my chapstick so you know that means i need to put it on and i use this quarter bomb lip saver it's amazing okay and i have done a lot of work on this cardigan so we have sleeve number one over here, sleeve number two over here, and then we have a body and front panels. I am currently working on the bottom band, as you can see there. And wow, the colors. Um, a few things I will say about this. I, now looking at the fade, there were so many different ways to put this fade together. And I moved in, I was like starting at green, starting at orange, and am realizing I'm not enough to redo it, because I'm not going to and I love it how it is, but I could have done things differently and if I use my leftovers in another project, I might actually play around with the fade just as a challenge to myself to see if I could fade things a little bit differently. So I had these blue greens and some of these grays that have greens and yellows in them. Now, a lot of these yarns have browns and orange with a white or gray base, but then there's also a few colorways that are red based instead of orange. Honestly, it's fading really well on screen. But you could see this color right here is pretty red. This one is pretty red. So I think these, um, could have gone up with these and then basically I think I could have faded differently from the gray red through some of these grays into the brown and orange into um, these greens into this green into this into blue. So I think I might try and play around with it for another project. Um, I was debating at looking at the numbers and seeing if I could use these leftovers for a pinguono. But I, I'm thinking I like the idea of challenging myself to work with a different, create a new fade from the same set, maybe for a smaller shawl or something like that. I'm thinking about following roughly the solstice and grain a lot less yarn. I don't know if I'm going to fade every other row um, or if I'm just going to block it. 
I might like use other shawls I've made as a starting base for like the increase rates basically and then create something of my own. But we will see. For now, I have decided this is not written in the pattern that I made. I wanted to make the bottom hem match the length of the ribbing on the sleeve. So the ribbing, I did four inches of ribbing on the sleeves. And I like when there are details and patterns that are um, that match. I think it makes it look really put together. And I know that the look of this cardigan is sort of like a short cropped, um, almost more fitted body with like a looser sleeve. And I kind of messed with that a little bit because I added extra length. When I cast on for the body, I added a few extra inches because I knew I wanted something cozy. So to add even more length, I am now making four inches of ribbing at the bottom here. And I think it is so sharp. Now, the plan is to finish this today and then use the rest of my yarn to make four inches of ribbing or as many inches of ribbing I could do for the butt the button band. I don't know that I'm gonna have buttons on mine. Maybe I will. Um, but that band. And I didn't think about this plan when I started, so I hadn't been measuring how much yarn this is gonna need. Um, but I think we'll be okay to at least get maybe three inches. I know it's gonna be a lot more stitches not that much more actually, uh, maybe like 20% more. No, maybe 50% more. Like 30 to 40% more now that I'm, I'm doing the math. I think if I'm doing it correctly, if I am remembering how many rows this is, um, then this bottom band and I think we'll be okay. We're just gonna do it until we run out. I am super, super excited to wear this. I kind of like looking at it that it fades in and out of colors rather than just a one dimension like gradient from one color to another. I almost had regrets at some point that I was like, should I have used Coast to Coast Advent from this past year for this? But I, I don't know, I just like the color. Maybe because I don't wear a lot of color in my wardrobe that I feel like this will be a fun pop of color without being really bright and obnoxious and still kind of muted and earthy. So the plan is, like I said, to work on that bottom ribbing and then at least have the neckband started um, by this weekend. And I'd love to just plug away at that neckband all weekend long. So that sock will probably not be through the heel today if I'm gonna prioritize this, but maybe we'll see. Those are the whip plans. I do have one more whip. It is a spinning whip. Yes, I am back on my spinning game, fam. And I am so happy that I am because it is so addicting. Nothing new or exciting in the fields here, but we're working with my Bosworth Midi Spindle, my Moonshine Oak Chard Spindle. And I am still working up that Melanie de Boho Bay one of a kind fall braid and I have a fair amount on the spindle. I think last time I showed that I had broken up the second half of this braid lengthwise all the way down so that I had two matching halves to do a fractal spin and this is how much I've done. Um, obviously I've been working on this one and this is like a cinnamon roll when you get to the inside, it goes so much quicker, right? Because the outside is like you're going all the way around and then suddenly you're like, nope, I'm done. So I think I would love to finish this braid this weekend and then be at least working on this one. And I feel like once I get to this one, I'm not going to be able to stop because I am so stinking excited to see this yarn. Um, I've also been really intentional. I don't want to talk too much about this because it doesn't look super exciting, but I've been really intentional about actually trying to spin a little thicker. Um, I have been spinning a really, really, really light fingering, um, almost to the point of a lace where I'm getting like 
600 yards, 600 something yards for 115 grams, so like 550 yards for 100 grams-ish, and I just want to see if I could spin something thicker. I'm thinking I actually might need a little bit of a heavier spindle. I have a lot of 0.8 ounce spindles. So I'm thinking maybe as I expand my spindles, I might move into like an ounce um, and see how that feels. Maybe even a little more. I think an ounce is, feels good for fingering because I'm able to do it with this one. I just have to be really, really intentional. Um, but yes, I'm super excited about that, and I'm still loving my, I think I have a refresh. Oh no, I have pink peppermint in here. Mm. And it's so wintry and lovely. So spinning has been a joy. That's all I got for whips. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about things I've acquired in the last week. AK today, AK this morning. All right, so this is a new braid. Is anyone surprised? Wow, oh my gosh, look at my lighting today. So this is my first time shopping from, I would like to say a new friend who dyes fiber and yarn. Um, and I found them recently. Their work is beautiful. This is Bramble Ridge hand dyed yarns. And once I found out that they dyed fiber, all bets were off. They actually were starting a new website. So I think they were previously on Etsy and just started a website at the start of this year. So it was really fun to shop their grand opening of their new website. And I almost bought everything in the shop. I really needed to control myself and say, okay, Brianna, pick the one you love. And this colorway is called Scruff. And it's so perfect. And it is on an untreated Cormo and I have not yet spun with Cormo, but just touching it, I am really, really excited about this um and i don't know what this is gonna become but i'm adding it to the list oh it's so good it's so good i mean just look at it like these orange pops i was looking at this like peachy and the way it's fading into this gray it's so good this deep rust okay enough but Wow, I'm really excited about this one, as I am about all of my fiber. Um, speaking of fiber, let's talk about why I didn't have more whips. So I know I had been practicing. So this is, I guess, what's coming up in the shop. Shop news. Even though I already kind of did that. Um, I know last time I spoke about practicing, not practicing, trying out spinning a bunch of fibers from different fiber suppliers to see what I might want to carry in the shop. I didn't get any feedback from anyone. So if any of you are spinners, share your thoughts here. Um, but I am waiting for fiber from one more supplier. And I decided I didn't want to spin all of the fiber from that one supplier if I end up liking this other supplier more. So I stopped, I did some Merino. I'm gonna compare this Merino because um, that's really where they overlap. The of them, they both have different products outside of that. So whichever Merino I like more is probably who I'm going to go with. So I figured it doesn't make sense to keep going with that. I'm just going to wait and that will be fine. Um, but I cannot wait for it to get here and to play around with that process because it will be a really cool new way to stretch my mind, challenge myself, and see what I can do dyeing up fiber. 
as well as yarn. Like, imagine this in a braid. Like, come on. Beautiful. Imagine this in a braid. Oh. I think that will be the first colorway I dye up or try to play with on fiber, but I'm really excited and I cannot wait for that to happen. Otherwise, life stuff? Let's chat life stuff for a little bit. I feel like there isn't that much life stuff going on. Y'all heard. Um, also, like, look at my, I have a sweater on under the sweatshirt and it feels like so bulky, but I'm loving all the layers because it's freezing these days. Um, and by bulky, I mean like, I'm like, why is my sweatshirt like bunching up? Bunchy, that's the right word. Um, I feel like I talked a little bit about life stuff throughout. Some big life things, I'll just give highlights. Michael and I saw Night Swim last weekend, last week for movie night, and it was terrifying. It was a very good, but also I had nightmares for two days after, but it was so good. Um, then what else do we do? We're still watching Game of Thrones. Um, we had a really fun time on Saturday. So my friend Jenna Rose and Rob came out and we did a thing in Bethlehem called the Soup Saunter, which was basically a soup crawl where we went to 14 different restaurants in Bethlehem on the north side and tried 14 different soups and walked around and rated them and then voted on our favorite and it was so much fun. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I actually filmed for a vlog. And if you like soup or you like kitschy things like that, or you just want to see us be the most strict food critics you could ever imagine. Some of us, not others of us. Um, definitely check out that vlog. I think it'll come next, this coming Tuesday. Um, but so that was really, really fun on Saturday. They were originally just gonna come out for the day and they ended up, we were like, do you just want us to stay over? We convinced them to stay over. Jenna taught herself to knit um, in the last month or so. So it was really fun to give her a bunch of yarn and needles and project bags that were not getting enough love in my life. Um, and to help her play around with not acrylic yarn for a hat, basically, which is what she had been doing. And it was so much fun to see her joy, to see her challenged by something. Um, she cast on a muscle burra, which was amazing. She learned so many new things. She went from like bulky yarn to fingering. So I think she's going to take a pause and go back to DK. But it was just really cool to see her grow and like try things that she didn't think she could do. So they ended up staying over. We played rock band till 3 a.m. Obviously, you will see all of us on the vlog. And then the next day, they headed out after breakfast and whatnot, and Michael and I went to see Wonka. We were interested, our plans got interrupted a few weeks ago, so we canceled. And then we heard from a few people, like, you should go see it, it's really cute. I was like, okay, we'll see. The first, like, 20 minutes, half hour, I was like, yeah, this will be cute if you had a kid. By the end of the movie, I was crying, Michael was crying, it was so good, like so, so good. Um, I'm really, really glad we saw it and I definitely recommend seeing it if you have not seen it yet. Um, then it snowed on not on Monday, I went to the dentist on Tuesday, I think it snowed. Yes, it was on Tuesday and we went to see another movie. <laughs> We almost canceled it because of the snow, but it ended up the roads were fine. So we went to see The Beekeeper with Jason Statham. It was good. It was fine. It was an action movie that had like an okay storyline, like an interesting idea and terrible writing as far as like dialogue. But, but good action. It was fine. Um, I had no good knitting project, so I was knitting Twisted Rib Flat. So I was purling through the back loop through that movie. So that band probably would have been done if I was not moving as slowly as I was. But that's the part we were on, so it was fine. Um, and that was Tuesday. Today is Thursday. We're going to see a comedy show tonight. We're going to see Nate Bargatze. 
super excited. My sisters and I and all of our partners for Christmas, we decided instead of doing gifts this year, we were going to go do something. The original plan was for them to do something and then come out here for the weekend. And this weekend didn't work for everyone to come out here. So we're doing the show today and then they're planning to come out at a later date, at a weekend in the near future, which will be super fun. And maybe we'll have a sister vlog and you'll see all about it. But those are the plans. That's how the week has been going. I feel like there's not that much else life-wise that's happening. I talked about what we're watching. I'm reading, I'm continuing to read. I'm reading through the Maggie Sefton books. I think I'm on book like 11 or 12. They're cute, they're fine, they're cozy mystery. I prefer, I think, a true mystery or thriller. Um, like Megan Miranda, I really like am absorbed by her books. These are fine and I'm reading them before bed, which is probably better for nightmares. But they're fine. Once I'm done with this series, we'll see where I go from here. Um, but I'm also planning to read Runaway. It's our book club book for the Little Wolf Knits Wolf Pack. Um, and we have a chat about it at the end of the month, which is not next week, the following week. So I'm going to read Runaway from Harlan Coben. I also have had Verity on my night table that my sister loaned me that I really want to read. So maybe I'll read that first and then run away after. I don't like reading too far in advance of book clubs because and then starting something new because then I've forgotten what has happened by the time we get to the chat. And then our wolf pack is also running another um, reading book club on the half month. So at the end of the month, we're doing like a thriller book. And then halfway through the month, we're going to start doing a like romance rom-com not like super smutty i don't believe but more just like rom romance rom-com what what is that called in the book world is that what it's called um on the half month and they're starting a cute new series so i might jump on and read that after i get through these thrillers so we'll see that's what i'm reading um and i think that's all that's happening in my life it's supposed to get a lot of snow this weekend AK tomorrow, so I am hoping for once, knock on wood, we have no, no plans. Michael and I are giving ourselves one free weekend a month where we are, stay home, we don't have things to do, we just do whatever we feel like so we can say, hey, let's go see a movie, let's go out to dinner, um, let's just stay home and watch TV or play games, but we do a lot of things and we don't have a lot of time to just chill. Um, and it's going to be snowy. I want to just chill this weekend, get a lot of knitting done, maybe assemble some furniture and like do some things around the house that I've been wanting to do that have arrived and been delivered. So that is the plan. I'm super excited. If you have plans for this weekend, let me know what you're doing. Drop them below. I love hearing about you all as much as you hear about me, I guess. Um, and until next time, take care of each other. Is that all I have to say? I feel like I'm missing things. I guess I'll see you next week because that's what this is now. So, okay. Bye.